Yeah, this, this event uh, is the second event in, in a series that's now growing, and I think that it's really critical that this sector um, takes an interest both in, in climate change uh, mitigation, so reducing emissions, and uh, adapting their uh, technology and their infrastructure to the climate change that we're going to experience already. So I'm very supportive of this, this event. Yeah, the cold chain is absolutely at the core of enabling any modern society to adapt to climate change. Um, both the climate change we're seeing already, but the climate change, more importantly, that we're going to see in the coming decades. Um, given its central role in delivering food uh, and uh, pharmaceuticals, uh, particularly vaccines, medicines, temperature sensitive uh, products like blood, plasmas, um, it's absolutely at the core of ensuring that we can continue to function in, in, uh, you know, as temperatures go up. That it's absolutely essential that they think about adaptation as well as reducing emissions and mitigation. So um, we've put a lot of focus um, over the past uh, couple of decades on reducing emissions in, in across a wide number of sectors and um, uh, cold chain is one of those. Um, but really we need to start thinking about adapting our, our systems and refurbishing existing systems, making them more resilient and um, you know, completely uh, reorganizing our design um, so that uh, they're well adapted for the future. And we need to do the two together. It's not about one or the other, um, or doing the two separately. They, it, they have to be done together. <laughs>